There's a common view that memory declines with age, but recent research, including my own, suggests that this might not actually be the case, that memory processes themselves, especially relatively automatic ones, are preserved with age, and what actually declines is the ability to focus your attention. Whether memory declines with age depends on how you're testing memory. So if I give you a list of words to learn and I just ask you to recall them to me, what we call free recall, then older adults are, can be quite bad at that. But if you gave them that same list of words with some new words and asked them to differentiate which ones they've seen before and which ones are new, then they tend to be better at that. Finally, there's this uh, form of memory called implicit memory, or memory that we can test without you even being aware that your memory is being tested. And in that case, we're not seeing any age differences in memory. We've known for a long time that the more attention or controlled processing that the memory test requires, the worse older adults tend to do on that test. So one kind of memory um, that people have thought is particularly affected by aging is the ability to form new associations. So you say you're meeting somebody at a party and they tell you their name. Older adults are thought to be really bad at forming that link between the new face and the new name. But we've shown that actually um, that kind of memory really calls upon attentional control. And it, it requires you to sort of ignore any distracting things in the environment other people's faces, other people's names, or you might be meeting someone named Susan, but you're thinking about your other good friend that's named Susan, and so that might sort of interfere with your ability to form this new association. So it really calls into question whether it's the memory processes themselves that are declining with age, or is it actually attentional control? So some of the things that have been shown to be related to preserve memory are Exercise, first of all, obtaining a higher education and having a mentally challenging job, social activity, and playing games 